Welcome to the channel everybody. I'm Bundy aka Bundy Games and in today's video we are back with Mafia Definitive Edition Chapter 3. So in the last chapter uh, titled Running Man we got to drive around the city a little bit picked up uh, three fares and uh, when Tommy took a break, a couple of guys decided they wanted to beat up on his cab and beat up on him as well. So we got the tutorial on how to run and jump. And we ended up in front of Salieri's restaurant where Paulie and Sam basically uh, kept Tommy from getting the beat down. So in this episode, uh, we should be meeting Don Cilieri himself. So we're going to jump right into it. Here we go. Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of time he helped us. This, uh, taxi. That's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm going to set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas girls hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. No one else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. The boss finished yet? Nah, you got more time to sit on your ass. <sighs> Who's the new guy? Some cabbie. We're helping him out. He's gonna drive the boss? Nah, you don't lose your job that easy. I hate sitting around, boring as hell. If the boss says you're not ready to come out on collections, what can you do? I don't get what his problem is with me, Polly. What do you think I gotta do to... I think you shouldn't ask me, Carlo. Not gonna give a good answer. Anyways, I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll Wait take up. you to Vinny first. He's a loudmouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. What's he do? We go see him whenever we need to do any, uh, heavy lifting. We make sure we're well healed for when there's trouble. <sighs> Another bullshit day. Yeah, they didn't give me a chance to walk around. I wanted to hear their conversation. So are they still in that room? Can't see. So we got a note. Oh, there's a wedding of my daughter. Your loyal friend Giovanni Romano. Okay. Find anything good? Nah, I. I'm watching you. Got it? I get it. They told me to look around the bar, guy. So I'm gonna look around the bar. Let's 
What is this? Prohibition here to stay. Uh, September 23rd, 1930. Quem é louco? Ah, sim. Okay, we trapped inside here. The bars are closed for you, I'm afraid. Come back later with Polly or Sam. Okay. Guess we'll go follow Polly. I guess if I try to go upstairs, they won't let me. this morning thought I saw cops on every corner I know a place yeah we know about your places okay I'm eavesdropping just a little bit they stopped talking when I got too close that was funny look at this it's like almost photo photo realism And it's Madonna Vincenzo. Ciao, Polly. Oh, she's gonna sing. <laughs> Who's this then? Vinny. This here's Tommy Angelo. We're doing a little job together. All right, good, good. Hey, you just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the trick. <laughs> oh! hey, if the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Aye, aye, aye. Careful with them, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Good to meet you, Todd. Let me know if Paulie gives you the hard time. I'll straighten them out. Okay, we got some mollies now. Come back and see me later if the boys don't scare you away. I'll fix you with a gat. A gat? You so look around, sure. But nothing leaves the room. So they did call them gats back in the day? Okay. Cop sure would love to get their hands on this stuff. Okay, Vinny. Ralphie's in the garage. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got a way with cars. I don't get how this moron gets interest of her. But I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. Hey, genius! <laughs> get your head out of your ass! <laughs> Polly, can't you sneak up on a guy like that? Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> see, 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 you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sure, 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 sure Papa Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. G good to meet you. Like I said. Ralphie here's a crack deck. Well, you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 ride, but it, it'll get you across the, the, the town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> Thank you. 
One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. I don't know what Ralph's trying to pull giving us this motor. I want to show you something about the good life, and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Yeah, the car's fine. It's good to get a change from the cab. You don't have to be nice about it. Spins a tin can! So, was that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep, new supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop-off. The cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you gonna torch? He's got more friends on the force than us. But we're okay, so long as we're careful. An eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through, you want a bottle? Just ask. We'll keep some back for friends. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. The us, you got a line in the good stuff. Well, that's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. Best tables, best food, best skirt. Some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble, says the guy who's about to set fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine, try not to let him see your face. Either that, or you hit him so hard they don't remember it. This is a piece of crap car, though. I agree with Paulie on that. Let me see, Ralph. Ralph don't care too much for Paulie either. I call him a butthole. Ah, Paulie ran out of things to say. Oh, we got traffic lights right here. to Morello's turf now. There's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri streets? Not really. There's always some give and some take. Though in general, we look after Little Italy, and his guys work North Park. And more besides. You're walking on the wrong sidewalk, in the wrong part of town, you start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. Here we go, guys. Okay, it's close by. Wait, they got tracks leading to this parking spot. Morello's goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. There's some lazy bastards. Put some gorilla on guard duty, but it's always some no-name schmuck. Come on, over here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. And the message. Sure. Why are you coming with? To see if you get shot. Morello's boy. Okay. Go quiet. You know how to go quiet, right? Yeah, like that. We'll get there someday. Where are they at? Oh, they're on the other side of the gate. What are we waiting for? No one sees our heads. No one tries to pop them. Get over this gate and up onto their roof. I'll go keep their chump busy while you creep up and jump them from behind. You're real good at distracting them. Best thing. Uh, 
I'm pressing the wrong button, guys. Sorry about that. Come on, Tommy. chance to get him from behind and choke him out but for some reason I hung back missed my chance what are you talking about I should have done it I should have stopped dicking around and took him out before things went south but I didn't as I was a dumb prick who for some reason don't do what he's told Jesus Christ you can lead the horse to water but you can't make it take the guy out just like that. You got it. I don't know if he was going to keep talking, so. Now let's get to these cars. Take your back and start swinging. Oh, crap. Come on, Tom. We're up against it here. He weighed the truck down. That's crazy. So we got a bat. Okay, this is new. I'm not gonna do it for you. That's great. No one's driving that. Ah, oh, crap. Hey, get away from the car. Knock him down, Tom. Come on, Tom, quick. There's gonna be more of them. Here's a Molotov and let's see some flames. Come on, Tommy. Dude, you're missing the whole vehicle. <laughs> oh, boy. Got only two mollies. Oh, this guy about to die. Keep burning. No. Yeah, that guy's dead. Oh, that's why it's making all that noise, because he's stuck on the tailgate. Then let me stop. I got some help. Oh crap, it worked differently than it does. And uh Mafia 3. Old ways are the best ways. Straight through the gate! We gotta get out of here before the bulls show! You dare show let him get away! Right. Come Come on, right. you bastards. <sighs> really? Oh, I'm about to get got. Driving real fast and getting clear of them. Sounds good. Right now they're pissed. But let's not get them real pissed. Come on, come on, come on. What part of stay out of sight, 
Wasn't clear. Man, they couldn't see me. I was too far away. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh, oh crap. Oh crap. They like coming. Oh my goodness. Woohoo! Uh oh, I'm in trouble. Dang it. Gotta make this right. Woohoo! Is that a jump? Alright, need for speed. Come on, guys. Give me a break. Okay. We lost them. Stay out of sight till they lose interest. Dang it. They're going to catch me. Get back. Oh, my goodness. Really? They doing this crazy thing again with the cops, man. We're almost in the clear. Almost. Drive careful, Tom. You don't need more heat. God. Oh my goodness. I know cops don't play. Come on. Drive safe. They're still looking for us. All officers, search is called up. Repeat of We're good. Search. Let's head back and see the boss. I thought so, Yuri had cops on the books. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. How did it feel? Feel good? Of what feel? Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah. I guess it did. No time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. You think it's for you? This life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just asking questions. I like asking questions. I doubt that every day you and Sam go and panel beat motors in parking lots. Eh. And busy days? It's slow days. Had more of an introduction than I ever got. You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor? Nah, stole enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. So, I got a suit now and Vinny's an old bastard. <laughs> I always thought that to be in a family, you had to have more connections. Your brother, or your uncle, or... Oh, some guys, sure. Your cousin got made, or you like Carlo, whose pop went way back with the Don. That means you get trusted more when you're starting out. There's plenty of us who came in off the street. I'm thinking we get you in front of the boss, then we tip a few. Well, I don't got plans, so... Sure you don't got plans. Plans are to feed Vinny so much booze that Luigi has to roll him out the door again. I'm good with whatever. <laughs> sure you are. Okay, it looks like we're back. Yeah, those cops are something else. We gotta park this time. Well, what happened to the car I sent you out with? Dumped it. Well, why? It was a boiler. This one's better. Up of a better car with a broken window? Fresh air never killed nobody. Can fix that window, Ralph. He 
she's still with you then. Somehow, yeah. Well, they didn't expect me to make it back? Hey, boss. It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not going to be able to think straight for weeks. See, that's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morella is a hothead. And all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands. Make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you. But you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm gonna only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. A lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on the payroll because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. Now, you stay straight with me, you're gonna be living the high life, Tom. But you abuse my trust. Don Celieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's see. Welcome. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook. But his daughter Sarah, Maron. Okay, guys. That's the end of chapter three, Molotov Party. So, um, looks like Tommy made it in the family. It seemed like it, it was rather easy. It wasn't too complicated for him to get in. So, I guess we'll see what happens in the next chapter. If you guys enjoy, give us a like. If you're new to the channel, please sub. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.